Hello everyone, Jamie Parker here with Coach Steve Donahue, um, fresh off of a 10-day trip with your team to Spain. First, just give us an overall vision of your excursion. Well, it's uh, everything you would hope for when you go across the, you know, to Europe and see a part of the world that you never saw before uh, with a bunch of guys who are excited and I thought we did everything that we possibly could in our 10-day trip, and it was uh, something I'll never forget, but I'm sure they'll really cherish this uh, the trip for the rest of their lives. Four, you guys played four games there. Uh, tell me about first, like, the competition, who you were playing, and, uh, you know, the style of play there. Yeah, there's, it's hard to describe, um, even for someone who's involved in basketball. For someone else, it's, it's a very different brand of basketball. There's a different uh, level of physicality. The rules are different. The, the language, obviously, the barrier that you go there. You're playing in crazy looking gyms with different color floors. And uh, so I think the basketball side of it, what I liked about it is we had to come overcome a lot of different challenges. Mm -hmm. And I thought our guys did a great job against very good competition when it was all said and done. And as I said, all the different things that you had to overcome in the game. Did you have to give them some tutorials before you left, like just to kind of learn the new rules and stuff? Like I read once where um, Dennis Clifford actually got fouled out on six fouls and was supposed to be five yeah. or, or something. We tried to. I tried to <laughs> warn the guys because this mm -hmm. is my fifth trip over there and this type of uh, trip with another team. Mm -hmm. um, I gave them, you know, one, one right off the bat is a 24-second clock, uh, the, wider, the wider lane. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a lot of different little rules that I didn't want to get, you know. Too you know, specific. Yeah, yeah I, I just didn't want them to think them, yeah. that it's that different. I wanted us to go out there and play what we're going to try to do here at Boston College. And for the most part, I thought we did that. You talked about the language barrier. Did, were there, did you have to teach any words on the way <laughs> over? or? <laughs> well, I'm embarrassed because I took six years of Spanish, and, and it didn't seem to help me much with the officials. Ditto. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know much of it either. It's a lot harder than you think when you go <laughs> over there. We had one of our managers, uh, Kat. Uh, she, she's from Spain, was born there. She was our interpreter quite oh, a bit, nice. and I almost grabbed her during a game and said, sit here so I can yell some things at the official. <laughs> Uh, I, I held myself. The so back you're fluent in Spanish now. Uh, I wouldn't say that. No, <laughs> not exactly. Uh, but I did hear of a story where you were. I have you had during the day you had a clinic with some kids, and you were trying to. Yeah. Uh, well, we did a show off your Spanish, <laughs> so to speak. I was having a little fun because I had a mic and I had uh -huh. two thousand people watching. Right. Uh, and I knew they knew no English, so <laughs> I threw in some Spanish with, as I said, Cat trying to be my interpreter. Right. I think I started making up words. And right through the L in there and C and little that I know, and it was pretty funny. Like I heard passe, you know. Passe. 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 Right? Passe that, that, has, that has to be an easy one, right? C. C. <laughs> Everybody knows the olas and all that stuff, uh, exactly. but C, yes, and yes. But, um, but overall, how do you think the experience was for your team, like gelling as a team? There's a lot of things that you don't realize uh, that benefit your team until you do it. Uh, for me, personally, I've never been with these guys for 10 straight days in a more relaxed atmosphere than mm -hmm. coach and player. So you got to experience things that you would not have otherwise. Um, and I got to know them better. So I, I can relate to them better uh, as a coach when we go to get on the court. For the guys, it, it's a chance to really get to know each other because mm -hmm. now they're spending all their 24-7 with each other. And, it, and doing it in such a fun, exciting, and educational environment, those are the things I think will benefit greatly for us in the short term. In the long term, as I said, as we led, when I've done this with other teams, the thing they remember most about their college experience is this foreign trip. And I think that will be the same with these guys. Talk about some of the tours that you guys took. It sounded very exciting, like what you got to see and what some of the guys had obviously had never been there before. Yeah, I, you can go through every city with Madrid mm -hmm. and the old city and the, the different plazas and the architecture that you see. And, and then there was a sports element in each city as well. Real Madrid and their, mm -hmm. their passion for soccer and their stadium and their all the things that they go into that. And then we went to a town, Valencia, which is on the coast, and we saw incredible uh, new, relatively newer buildings on the beach, and uh, 
uh, an aquarium that is you know world renowned and uh, and then we went to uh, Barcelona and once again you, you saw incredible views of a gorgeous city on the coastal region and with that you know buildings from the 1400s and architecture from uh, Galde who's an incredible architect and then there's a sports piece in there obviously Barcelona yeah. soccer and and we got to see a couple games on TV as well and just experienced the whole culture on the trip as well. I heard you also got to see the uh, the Olympic facility there and some of the guys were joking like this is where the dream team walked or Well, you think about that. Which is nice, yeah. You know, it's uh, for these guys to dream about that was 20 years ago that, you know, Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan and Larry Bird and the whole team walked through where they were walking and what they were doing. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it was, you know, it was incredible to see and what the city had to do to, to host an Olympics, especially a city the size of Barcelona. It's not like your typical city in New York or Philadelphia mm -hmm. that's in the States that could handle that. They had to really build their, their, their city to handle that. And you saw all that the things they had to go through. Is the culture that much, that totally different there when you're there? It really is. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've been to other cities uh, and countries in Europe. I really thought Spain is dramatically different. Uh, dinner starts at like 10, 10 p.m. What? Yes. Like I'm exhausted. And <laughs> people are rolling in at midnight to eat. And starving. Yeah. And then they get up, I think, at, like at 9, and they start their day. But stores aren't really open. And then there's a siesta at 2 to 5, and they really do it. You participated in that? Well? <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> Went in Spain. Yes, that's true. That's true. So you don't have to tell me everything because I know what happens there stays there. Um, so you talked about the team gelling um, personally together, but how about on the basketball court? Do yeah. you think that will bode well for this season coming up? I do. Uh, what I think it allowed us as coaches is to get a preview of what we wouldn't know otherwise until October, November, December. Mm -hmm. It really gave me a, a great understanding of things that we have to do a whole lot better, guys, how they need to improve in certain areas, and then everything overall, the newer guys fitting in. Like we had two guards that played substantial minutes that we're going to really, uh, really rely on this year that we got an early view on what we need to do to get better. Yeah, so give me an overview of this year and what your expectations are. Well, Jamie, it's actually something that we always keep within our team, what my mm -hmm. expectations are, because mm -hmm. uh, I don't necessarily get caught up in what all the other media outlets do, and there's a lot of that now, mm -hmm. and I think it can be dangerous. Uh, I have expectations for these guys every single day, and that's kind of where we start, how we behave as Boston College af athletes and all the things we do to prepare ourselves. We want to be a successful basketball team. Obviously, we want to love to make the NCAA tournament. I think they're realistic goals for this team at all times when you're here. But I'm not getting caught up in those kind of things. Uh, rather, just things that we deal with and we talk about on a personal level that we have to do every day to get better. Well, of course, we wish you good luck this year. Thanks. And uh, will there be a Spanish play that we don't know about that you can yell out? Like, uh, you got to make up a good Spanish That's word. That's good. You know what? Be, I'm stealing right? some of those you plays, should. and I, I I'll call them Valencia. <laughs> I'll call them the Barcelona. Yeah, the Barcelona. <laughs> Seriously, I learned a lot. And it was an educational basketball experience for myself. I thought it was such a great level of basketball now played all over the world. So, I, you know, obviously I hope to, I learned a lot as well. Well, in my years of experience as well, I'm just going to say gracias because I still remember oh, that nada. <laughs> There we go. All right. Thank you so much joining for joining us, and obviously have a great season this okay. year. Thanks for having me. All right.